Yeah, I look pretty crazy, but you know what's crazier? This Dr. Disrespect situation that's unfolding in front of all of us. Quick little recap for the ones that haven't seen the first video. So, Friday night, uh, this guy named Cody used to be an ex-Twitch employee. Decided to drop a tweet basically saying that Dr. Disrespect got banned uh, because he was sexting a minor and was trying to meet up with him at TwitchCon. At that point, Dr. Disrespect responded very vaguely, okay, saying, yeah, legal obligations, you know, uh, nothing was, you know, all the probing, etc., etc., etc. Um, nothing was found, but I got paid. Everything was settled. It was pretty shady, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, no, normally, you know, when you get allegations like that, you kind of try to hit with the, you know, so now nah, what the hell? Here's the receipts, you know what I'm saying? But kind of very vague and PR answered situation. Now today on this glorious Monday afternoon, excuse me, Monday evening, uh, while everybody's, you know, uh, living their beautiful lives. Uh, there was another situation that popped up. Midnight Society dropped them. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what Midnight Society is. Midnight Society is is uh, pretty serious a game studio that was co-founded by Doctor Disrespect. I don't know in what world, as a co find as a co-founder of a game studio, you can just get dropped by your you know uh, I guess you could call it your company. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, within about 36 hours of allegations dropping. Once again, these are all allegations. Nothing has come to surface just yet, but this is not helping this case. Just like the fact that, well, the main reason is uh, Midnight Society dropped them, okay? They dropped the tweet. On Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam. I hope I'm saying that name right. Could care less. AKA Dr. Disrespect. We assume his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. In order to maintain our principles and standard as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. Now, hold on. Before I continue reading this, who was like, who were they talking to? To you know, what I'm saying to get this information to where they they had to drop them, because if they got this information to drop somebody, uh, that means it's got to be some serious shit. Okay, I'll, okay. Oh, I, listen. I don't run a company. I don't own a company. I, I've only worked for certain companies, right? So, whatever. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. God damn. It's just something about that sentence basically saying we know what the fuck happened or maybe what the fuck happened probably did happen and we really don't want shit to do with you before it affects the company. Once again, this is me just giving my two cents, right? But it doesn't look good whatsoever. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, Mm. It is our duty to act uh, with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. Now, that's, I feel like they know some. Once again, I feel like they know some and they had to act on it because then it would reflect on the company. Or once again, it's just a company trying to pick, take precautions just in case it is true. Okay. Now, that doesn't help his case at all. Now, you know what really doesn't help this case? You know how when you catch somebody lying and then they keep talking about the thing they lied about? Guess what Dr. Disrespect did? He went on, okay, about feeling like he needs to take an indefinite break from streaming. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the video, okay, but guy, guy looks a little looks a little shaken up. If you just if you want to go back to 2020 when he first initially got banned, we looked at his phone and kind of hit one of those like, damn. You know, he looked a little shaken up. Once again, I mean, I'm was i I'm only really good at reading people. I might be wrong. Once again, hey, who knows, right? Uh, I might be wrong. But we do have a short version, all right, from the seven-minute video with all the key details, okay? Let's listen in. I think more importantly, we need to... I think I, when I say step away, I think... I mean, I'm going to have to either have to relay this to the Midnight Society, but I, you know, maybe I step away from there too. Just completely remove myself from the scene okay i'm not sure when this was dropped but midnight society dropped them so he's talking about this probably so he probably talked about this because he knew he was gonna get dropped what well, once again bro i just want to make sure it's clear to everybody i'm not picking a goddamn side here there's some major allegations right on some diddy level type shit going on all right and I just want to make sure y'all know I'm not picking a goddamn side, right? I just, it just look, it looks a little shady, right? Let's continue. It's what I need to do. 
I mean, I... Right? Take all the time you need, says Layer Cake. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Give me back my dog! Don't be a pussy. God damn it. I, I'm telling you, it's fatigue. It's tired. It's wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight. You got you to remember, man. Doc, Doctor Disrespect was uh, well. I mean, until until what until the truth until the truth comes out uh, is somebody I looked up I look up to in in the, in the streaming world, right? God, I hope this don't come and bite me in the ass in the future. You know, somebody I used to watch when I was in the military all the time. Hopefully, this will come bite me, and it's it's really not looking good. It's fatigue. It's tired. It's wanting to just kind of move away from the limelight. Now, something about this that doesn't rub me the right way, right? I mean, we, we play video games and do YouTube for a living. I, I'm not sure how fatigue, like I, I stream every day, by the way, on twitch.tv, uh, for slash Dean So Cool. Uh, I stream every day on Twitch. I, I'm not that fatigued. I play RP. Um, where with a bunch of overly invested viewers uh, watch me and curse me out and uh, say some fucked up shit to me, you know the weirdos on the internet say some fucked up shit to me on a, on a, on a, uh, every other day basis. I don't think it's that fatigue to uh, you don't want to take a step back. It's just it's not a good look that you know as soon as all this stuff is happening that you kind of want to just instantly kind of give up and not give a fuck anymore and kind of just oh this is an indefinite you know leave of absence and just not gonna. Not gonna care about streaming anymore, you know. You're, you're, and once again, he's probably rich enough to, to do to do that. But it's just once again, it's just the the what it makes it looks like, right? Just it just doesn't look good. Ultimately, that's what it's about. You know what I mean, champs? Damn, now what? I mean, shit. There's 50 million other streamers you could watch right now. It's getting old, yo. What's getting old? Get the break. Respect it, Doc. Okay, I appreciate that. It's getting old. You're not alone. That's not very nice. You don't like me. It's time to drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate all the commitments, the recommitments. Please do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just... I just, I'm just not buying it, man. I feel like some. I feel like he should just come out and say it, bro. Like I, I, I hope it's just tax evasion. Oh, bro, I hope so bad that it's just tax evasion. Oh yeah, man. I, I, I stole ten million dollars. I, I'd rather him anything but what the allegations are, you know, are saying. To be honest with you, I'd rather him have need a, 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 a old man in the face than than those allegations. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, a buck a hundred. Uh, as I, as I feel like we, you know, we'll get more and more details as the days goes on, because I feel like all of it's coming, you know, it's coming down, right? And I, I'm lost for words, man. I'm truthfully, truthfully, truthfully lost for words if it's true. Other than that, hope you guys come back, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace.